It is 516 on this Thursday morning. Well, I saw it this morning, fellas. <laughs> what? Christmas lights. Uh, really? Christmas lights on my way in this morning. Whose house is this? Well, uh, we're going to find out. We're going to get to the bottom of it. But on a day like today, when it's going to reach 80 degrees, it's going to seem out of place. It will. But maybe over the weekend, <laughs> over the weekend. it'll feel more holiday-ish. Let's take a look, show you what's out there as we open up with weather headlines that include rain today, cooler temperatures tomorrow, and freezing next week. There you go. Hey, Christmas, lights. Christmas lights. Perfect. Uh, let's take a look, show you what's going on out there as we check the view from Gulf Coast Maritime Museum out over the Mobile River. New problems this morning. It's uh, quiet, it's pretty, it's uh, overall very nice, but just take a look at the big picture of the radar. Yeah, you'll see that there's plenty more uh, stuff going on. And we'll get some of that this afternoon and evening. For today, though, in the early morning hours, you got just a couple of little tiny showers coming up into Biloxi, out of the Gulf, and across the Mississippi Sound. Everybody else opening up quietly. Forecast model shows more of those little dinky coastal showers during the a.m. hours. Here's 8 o'clock in the morning. Let's move forward in time to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Did you notice everything kind of shift a little bit? That's because a cold front will be coming in, bringing with it some northwest winds. You got southerly winds ahead of this front that will make things a bit more humid and sticky today. And then once this front sweeps through, you'll lose these, you see these brighter red areas. Now, they won't be in exactly these spots, but you, this is about the right amount of rain, and these bright red spots will be like thunderstorms, more than likely. So only a few thunderstorms in the mix, and those go away once the front passes. Now, as the front passes, the winds shift to northerly. We'll have a few lingering chilly showers, cold, wet rain through the overnight hours, and the winds will pick up out of the north as well. We're going to have a windy day on Friday with gusts up around 25 miles per hour, and then you get this north wind blowing and the the chill in the air, and it's going to feel a lot cooler than the 60-ish weather I'm going to show you in the extended outlook. 60% chance that you'll need a Green and Phillips umbrella this afternoon and evening. Temperatures start off mostly in the 60s, a bit warmer this morning than it's been all week. 64 in Mobile right now, it's 63 in Fairhope, 67 in Pensacola, as cool as 56 in Evergreen. Temperature forecast takes us into the 70s and maybe even 80 degrees before this day is done. So our temperature trends over the next couple of days are going to be much cooler. Today it's close to 80 degrees and then you see tomorrow and Saturday will be in the 60s. The difference is Friday is going to be really windy. Saturday is going to be sunny and not windy. So I think you're going to be interested, maybe I hope you're going to be interested in the fact that uh, it's going to feel very different. Two 63 degree days, Friday and Saturday, are going to feel quite different. All right? Anyway, we warm a bit Monday, and, and then another cold front sweeps in. And then we get 50s for highs on Tuesday, and we could see some overnight lows dipping into the 20s next week. A few showers today, mild with southerly winds, showers and some thunderstorms during the afternoon hours particularly. And in the tropics, not a thing going on. It's quiet in the Atlantic. It's quiet in the Gulf. It's quiet in the Caribbean as well. So good news coming out of the tropics with three weeks left in the Atlantic hurricane season. News 5's free weather app will be a good thing to have today. I'm telling you, it's handy. It tells you when rain is nearby or if severe weather is in your neighborhood. And we're not looking for severe thunderstorms today, but still, if something pops up, you'll know about it. The extended outlook is for clearing weather tomorrow, and I'm feeling good about the Blue Angels shows. It is going to be windy on Friday. It'll be sunny and 60s on Saturday and Sunday and probably Veterans Day too, a little warmer on Veterans Day before another cool down middle of next week that could bring our first freeze.